finna prove to y'all that they gave us our shit back and they are out of the way. And all we have to do is acknowledge our oral right from our tradition to call forth these kings on the land to give us a reporting of what's taking place on the land. Um, I'm waiting on the uh, chief to come in so we can go over the receipts, but I'm going to do a little quick review of what I already told y'all when I told y'all this shit was over. I already told y'all that we have to go back to our oral traditions in order to overthrow their paper trap. First thing. Second thing, they paper surrenders their jurisdiction back to the Chiefs of the Land in the Indigenous Rights Act. And since the Indigenous Rights Act is active, and since we had tribes placed in the totem pole in the D.C. crash site to reclaim that 10 square miles called Washington, D.C., all this shit can be looked up and verified. So one of the chiefs, this is what our job is. And for one of the chiefs hear this, and they say, okay, he's saying that us asserting our jurisdiction is the only way to reclaim the land, but we can't use their paper fictitious system because it's a paper trap. And he's saying that the documentation is here, here, and here. And I'm going to go look this up. So one of the chiefs looked it up. And um, I'm going to let him come in. We ain't had a chance to talk, but he told me he looked up the information. Yes, sir. We finally locked in. How you doing, brother? What's up with you, God? I'm, I'm doing peaceful, God. I'm doing peaceful. So from my understanding, you heard me saying that they gave us our shit back and I told the chiefs where to look, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And then you, being one of the chiefs, go automatically do what the chiefs supposed to do is check out, right? Yes, sir. Due diligence. Due diligence. Right. It's only right. Okay. Now, what did you find when you checked it out? All right. So I would say that overall, what you what you've been saying and doing, man, it been leading up. It been leading up to this. You know, it's like uh, building, just building from the ground up. So as I, I went back and started watching uh, recently, probably within the last couple months, because nothing was feeding my soul. You know, we kind of get into these things and we don't stay in them. We we grow from them. So when I heard you talking about, first off, we went through the whole. Um, you, you put all this shit together stemming from the Sumerian, the war from heaven with Enki and Enlil, and how it came down to here. I heard you tell somebody you can wipe your ass with the Bible. The Bible was the Bible was toilet paper to you, but I don't think you comprehended what you meant from it. You feel what I'm saying? Like the fact that you went in there and dug it all out. Now that's you feel me? That's that's true to the side. But to continue, man, um, as you were saying these things, I'm a I'm an investigative researcher myself. You know what I'm saying? As far as being uh, self taught, so I understand mm -hmm. self master. I understand the higher higher mis raised. You feel me? So as you were speaking these things, you you spoke on the continue continuity of uh, government with uh, FEMA, and lo and right. behold, everything that I didn't. When you say that you got receipts, man, and, and they want to tap in with you and, and say you wrong or, or they don't they don't get the message, they don't get the frequency because all the receipts is everything that you say. All you got to do is do the due diligence and go look it up. All the receipts is right there. So I took I took the time I had already, man. I got some picture from probably like a year ago that I was already posing with the posing with it like this. As we go through this, as I did the due diligence and look up, man, they already gave everything back. I also seen that. The act of war that was staged, they make it to us like it's a, just a play or uh, something that's, that's not actually happening. But when the shaman and, they, and these people overtook the White House, that was a that was a sign right there. The totem being moved over there, that was a sign. It's all the underlay for the overlay, bro. Man. And the underlay they've been telling us the whole time. So now what I'm saying, as I'm, as I'm listening to you and as I'm doing my research on the side, hold on. We're looking at these words in the dictionary. I heard a brother, this is a side note, man. I heard somebody, you know, in respect to everybody, we all search for freedom at this point. Everybody ain't us. Everybody ain't, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't all skin folk and kin folk. But I heard a homie say that he's a true American citizen. So as I'm doing this search and, and, and freedom, we want freedom. We don't really, we want autonomy. We don't want to be nobody's citizen. At the end of the day, and, and this, is what the indigenous, this is what the Indigenous Rights Act is for. This is what the American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People is for. This is what they gave in for. It ain't like this is something they talk about. They, don't, they already they came in. You feel me? So now we got people in the Pacific Islanders and the Philippines and the different parts where uh, uh, indigenous people are that's reaping the benefits, but we're the only people that still talking about black, African American and something else and we the indigenous people to the Americas like you said and like Noble Drew Ali said since time, it was not, time was what man was not you feel what I'm saying or I there it go but at the end of the day we understand that we've been over here, we ain't come over here on no fucking slave ship bro, so if, if the indigenous act is being put into motion by these different countries and continents South America putting in motion. You got people in the Philippines putting in motion. We're the only people over here that I don't know of, of, of nobody that's pushing this. I feel like this is the final, this is the push. 
This is the push besides Emerald City coming back. In these declarations, when we go over these declarations for indigenous people, aren't we the indigenous people over here? You feel no, what I'm saying? So, this land. Huh? We are organic to this land. And, 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 I, and I, had to, I had to use that, bro, because, listen, man, respect is, is earned, bro, and you've earned it through your research, through staying solid through your time, you feel me, and becoming a real OG. So when I hear you speak, I, I go check on it. So when we say indigenous to this land, organic to this land, it's just like a tree. Just like a fruit, just like a, a animal, just like a plant. When the, when the, the first off, America is the old world. We understand that it, it was the new world to them. This is the true old world, the true mother, the true move of the lands, and it was the first out of the water. And we were those people. Go ahead. House of the Hootie. House of the Hootie. You feel me? Everybody that I'm have, going through this journey and doing this research, big bro. Everybody that I been tapped into from India to the, the, the Indians was they their ancestors was the the the, uh, the Maya. You feel me? Which end up being the Mayans that went over there to the Nakao, excuse me, the Nakao. And the same with okay, so we, we see the Atlantic it. stock line, when they say we're from Africa, they know we're not from Africa because they don't classify us genetically as African. They classify us Negrito. Right. Right. And we, they say that we have what they call Afro Polynesian bloodlines. Mm. They're spanning the Americas all the way down to the Polynesian Islands. Yes, sir. Now, we. Not saying there were no Africans that came over here. That's not what we're saying. Exactly. Because we was trading with Africans long before Columbus came. On the east coast of the United States and the islands were resorts. So all of us used to give the supplies from the mainlands to the islands. Because on the island, the islands were our resort places. So we took care of the islanders with farm goods. Yes, sir. And they gave us a paradise on earth to, to visit in this pure state. So we was already doing that on the west, on the east coast with Africa. Right? We were trading daughters from over here to over there. Yes, sir. This is nothing new to us. That's why they call this the great melting pot. Yes, sir. And you can't stay over here unless you get a drop of blood from the royal families of Tehuti. Mm. The one blood drop of blood, doctor. Yes, sir. Because if you don't got the blood, you don't hold the right. This is our traditions and our customs. Straight up. We was trading with China and Japan for thousands of years. <clears throat> when we first started trading with Japan, they only had a group of people known as the Ainu, A-I-N-U, which is one of the tribes of Anu. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. And we was trading with them. And intermarrying with them in the Polynesian Islands, mm -hmm. in Hawaiian Islands, all the way up to the Pacific Islands. Yes, sir. Right? So when we were sat in Florida, every fucking tribe from the land said, we all in. Yes, sir. Now, we didn't know that we was going to get backdoor seized and colonized. Mm -hmm. Right? So now, when I go back over and review the record, I'm telling everybody what everything is. Right? I'm telling you how to uh, spot the infiltrators. Yeah. Right? Example. Some guy got on a group call. They, they was having a group uh, discussion about some of the things that I had been saying about Larry Hoover being the spokesperson for the chiefs on the land, etc. And a guy got on there and he was belligerent saying he was a GD from Chicago. Fuck Rod Hayes. I tell that nigga to his motherfucking face. All this shit, right? Yeah. And he's anybody saying pre Larry Hoover is an agent. Now, why in the fuck? How the fuck that makes sense? Yeah, for real. Now, the question is, what is he doing to try to get Larry Hoover out of prison? Personally. Exactly. You can personally see what the fuck I'm doing. Because when I know who got the blood and the right, I can start telling y'all how to make the moves on the land. But first, I got to get the attention of the people. Yes, sir. How do you get the attention of the people? You show them where everything at. You drag the conspiracy out into the public domain. And let yes, the people sir. see the conspirators for who the fuck they was. And then you explain to them what they did and why they got them got to be here. Yes, sir. You know, so now the people understand the effort that went into reclaiming our shit. Yeah. Right? So they, they surrendered. They gave it up. They gave it up. No, but I want to let me remember you. I just want to speak on the free Larry Hoover, man, because. What we got to understand, man, is we got to come to, we got to come to, uh, of, we got to raise to a frequency to understand and see the underlay for the overlay. They call it the underworld. And you know, you can call it an underchurch too. It's just a church that's under a church. So the world that's under the world. So when I see what you, how you connect Jeff Fort to being the overall enforcer on the land and what they did, 
and what they did to Larry Hoover, this young, he was a kid, bro. You feel me? People forget that. Bro, he was a kid. And they put him away for something. Both of them. For 200 years, both of them. You know what I'm saying? And, and when I see this, I'm like, damn. Okay, now, match that up with Go and Tell, bro. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Straight up. Match it up. Yeah. It was active, in the hood. The Go and Tell profile said he had at least 400 in Chicago alone to neutralize. Mm. Mm. Right? Yeah. They murdered Fred Hampton outright. You see what I'm saying? Straight up. All Straight the other ones, they murdered King David, King of Kings. Exactly. I found, I just found that one out that they got rid of King David too, bro. Yeah. Mm. David Boxdale Jr. is on this motherfucking IG shit. Yeah. You can go in his lives and ask him about his father. They tried to make up all these shit. His kidneys failed. He OD'd on heroin, all this shit. They murdered him. Straight up. Straight up. He was a fucking bull. He wasn't just going to die like that. Straight up. They murdered him. Yeah. The same way Chief Littlehorn, y'all know he was in the teal. Man, when you, when, you, when, you brought, when you dropped that gym, it threw me over the roof because it all resonates back in the spirit and the soul with me. So I'll be understanding what be truth when I hear the feeling, bro. And and that, especially the whistle, man, but go ahead and get into that. That was crazy to me. I never knew that. But now when I look at it with the, in hindsight, I get it. Yeah. So they, they don't, we talk on the wind. Right? One of the chiefs on the land can literally be in Washington State whistling. Yeah. A bird hear it. The bird put it on the bird hive mind. Yeah. And that bird will whistle over here to tell me what the fuck going on over there. Straight up. Straight up. But we 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 don't we want to follow the system. We don't want to go back to our shit. Right. But yes. soon as we soon as we go back to our shit, our shit more powerful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our shit based in love. They shit based in contracts. Man, it's blood right. For real. And look, uh, we're going to get into this indigenous act, man. I see y'all talk about it, but uh, I got to top it up with the big homie when we finally get the OG on here, man. Peace, though. Look, when you said, bro, you tied so much shit together. When you talked about the blood being written in Christmas Atticus, I had already been hip to, I mean, uh, the contract being written, in, uh, the constitution being written in Christmas Atticus blood. I have been hip to the Babylonian money magic and blood magic, but you put this shit together. You know what I'm saying? That's G call you the record keeper, and I fuck with that. You feel me? So we going we gonna to call you that, but... It, it just makes it so much more clear, you feel me, of, of what was actually going on and what this shit really is and what it was. And it also uh, makes it easier to see what happened. Yeah, that's the main thing. For real. Because you know, this is why we're here today. For real. And yeah, we had to unravel this shit. No, for real. That, that, and that's, that's what we're doing, man. And getting back to our shit. Because when we leading into this uh, indigenous act that we're going to go over, this ain't nothing but getting back to our tribal ways. The way that we've been subconsciously in a lot of ways and ways that we've gotten away from. And then you talk about how the you know the religious aspect comes into it and it throws us all off track. But over over time, man, our indigenous ways start to rise back up. So whenever you ready, big, whenever you ready. Yeah, so they got a scholar who studied the Mississippian tribes. Yes, sir. Mount yes, sir. And one thing he said is he learned that we talk through art, entertainment. And through the influence that we have on whatever the prevailing culture is. Yes, sir. Right? Right now, what is the prevailing influence on our culture? We gotta be talking about rap music. Hip hop. Yeah. Hey, look, so I was going back there to my man that studied the Mississippians. Right, right, there you go. Right. So um when you when you look at it, when they send their scholars in to research us to determine how aware are we of our culture. Yeah. Remember, we ain't never supposed to remember that we organic to this land. Yes, sir. We supposed to believe the narrative they gave us that we came on ships. Right? The only yep. way that the narrative can be uh, exposed is one of the chiefs on the land going to read the community. Like a book. Right? Like a book. Then they're going to match it up with what they written shit say. That's all you can have a reference point for what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Right? So... When they give our shit back, they write it down as the indigenous rights that we more than just indigenous, right, right, we're right. Dead. but we gonna take what they wrote. Right. So when we go to it, and you look in the document itself, they say we got a right to do what in forming our government and um, restoring our oral traditions and cultures. Did you see that in there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Let me show it to him. Let me see what it's like. I'm about to, let me, uh, I'm about to pull it up right now, y'all. Huh? I mean, we gonna go ahead and flick through here, man. Let's go ahead and flick through it. 
But you know, it started off. It started off with the, the what we call the preamble, basically a fireman reaffirming concern. We gonna get into these articles. I got a couple that I, you know, just stamped on. Oh, we're page seven now. So here we go. Believe in Article One. Let's see. Indigenous people have the right to the full enjoyment as a collective or as individuals of all human rights and fundamental freedoms as recognized in the Charter of the United Nations and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and in the International Human Rights Law. Let me find that one. Let me find that one. Okay, let's just go. Article 2. Indigenous peoples and individuals are free and equal to all other peoples and individuals and have the right to be free from any kind of discrimination in the exercise of their rights, in particular, that based on their indigenous origin or identity. Hey, you don't mind if I just go through these real quick, big bro? Uh, we good. All right, All right, Article 4. Indigenous people in exercising their right to self-determination... You forgot three. You forgot three. Oh, three. Let's go. Indigenous peoples have the right to... Se- now, real quick, this is very important. That's the one, right? That's the whole one right there. Okay, let's do it. Let me, let me go. I'm going to say it and you feel time. In di- Article 3. Indigenous peoples have the right to self-determination. By virtue of that right, they freely determine their political status and freely pursue their economic, social, and cultural development. That right. word self-determination. Yeah. Right? That means no political system can override our right to establish our jurisdiction on the land. Yes, sir. And we can uh, apply it using any political status we so freely choose. Mm-hmm. Right? In order to establish our economics. So now, what is our economics? Where in the fuck is Big Mama money? <laughs> so I went and found Big Mama. Look, I'm serious. I went and found Big Mama money. Trump went and got the receipt. Trump got the receipt. Yeah, it's called, he went to the Philippines and got the gold certificate for the wealth that we had held in the base. Yes, sir. The next thing is social and cultural development. Yeah. Those are, those are together. They intertwine. Yeah. Because the, the society is going to influence the culture, and the culture is going to express whatever going on in the society. Yes, sir. So this is our application of hip-hop to the overall society. Right, right, right. And then what, what do Article 4 say? Article 4. Indigenous peoples, in exercising their right to self-determination, have the right to autonomy or self-government in matters relating to their internal and local affairs, as well as ways and means for financing their autonomous functions. Come on, yeah. It's right there. It's right there. Now, we are autonomous? Does that mean you can operate without any assistance? Yes, sir. In your full, five-fifth realized capacity. What no would you all say? He said that I'm gonna leave these people in power to y'all learn how to run the government. Straight up. What do we say right there? Autonomy or self government, yes sir. Okay. We know how to run the government. They get the fuck out of here. Straight up. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get them the fuck out of here, cuz. For real. Come on. Come on. What else you want to show them? Let's go. All right, um, let's see. Article 8. Let's go ahead and skip to 8, because I got a couple of them that I just, you know, marked on, but indigenous peoples and in- individuals have the right not to be subjected to force, subjected to forced assimilation or destruction of their culture. This is what is assimilation? They can't force us to participate in the United States corporate government. Period. All of their written paperwork are, is the force. It's the adhesion contract. Because we don't know we contract them with them motherfuckers. Yes, sir. Keep going. Let's go. Uh, let's see. All right, let's tap in on this. Article 5. Indigenous people have the right to maintain and strengthen their distinct political, legal, economic, social, and cultural institutions while, while retaining their right to participate fully if they so choose in the political, economic, social, and cultural life of the state, which we ain't fucking with them anyway. All right. All right, so this I mark this one because you know it's say like every indigenous individual have a right to a nationality. But as I as I see it, a nation is nothing but a corporation, bro. And I got that. That's what they are. And I went to go confirm that. You feel me? Like we don't. But look, you see, it, there's no extrapolation to that statement. Exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But it's a reason for that. Yeah. Because you still have a right to to sell yourself into servitude. Right. There you go. Damn. <laughs> All right, let's just tap in with seven, man. All right, indigenous individuals have the right to life, physical, and mental integrity, liberty, and security of persons. Indigenous people have the collective right to live in freedom, peace, and security as distinct peoples and shall not be subjected 
to any act of genocide or any other act of violence, including forcibly removing children of the group to another group. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I right. want you to get to the part where they're saying we got the right to all, all, our land and state, all native get, land. All right, let's see. Hold on. Just get the right to manifest practice. All right, let's, let, 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 I think this here right here. Let me, let me, let me flip this. This is me Because we're getting there. Let's see. Any indigenous community in accordance with traditions shall not be forcibly removed from their lands. You know, we just read that one. All right, let's, let's start right here. Article 11. Indigenous people have the right to practice and revitalize their cultural traditions and customs. This includes the right to maintain, protect, and develop the past, present, and future manifestations of their cultures, such as archaeological and historical sites, artifacts, designs, ceremonies, technologies, and visual and performing arts and literature. Now, what that means is all the art shit that they got in the museums, yes, sir. we seize that back with that article right there. Come on. Right? All of our um, um, historical records that they got in the universities, we seize it back with that right there. Yes, sir. All of the, the, the books and the scrolls they've been keeping secret from us, okay. that article right there gives us control of that back. Yes, sir. I'm trying to get to the tribal lands part. All right, bet, 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 bet. Let me, let me squeeze through here. Let me see. Stage two, under redress. All right, just talk about redress. Let me see. Teach their spiritual, religions, and traditions. Indigenous people have the right to establish and control their educational system. Have the right to redress by means of. All right, here go one right here with lands. Um, I'm gonna find another one after I read this one. Indigenous peoples have the right to redress by means that can include restitution, or when this is not possible, just fair and equitable compensation for the lands, territories, and resources which they have traditionally owned or otherwise occup occupied or used, or which have been confiscated, taken, occupied, used, or damaged without their free prior, prior and informed consent. That's why they violated all of the treaties, because that right there give us control back of all of the land and to make and, and give us a, a compensation. That's called reparations right there. That's why Biden said... That's why Biden said... That's why Biden said that, that we can't, the blacks can't get reparations unless the Native Americans get it too. Come on, That's bro. it right there. That's it's it up there. Right. Yeah. It's going to tell you another one that we got the right to take control of all tribal land. I'm about to find it right now. And then people have the right to determine and develop priorities, right to their traditional medicines to maintain their health plans, medicinal, equal rights. And that's why they, that one right there is why they take uh, making marijuana legal because that's, uh, that's our shit. Straight the fuck up. We call it. We call it the herb. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Here. 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 I got you. Indigenous. The start twenty-five. Indigenous people have the right to maintain, strengthen their distinctive spiritual relationship with their traditionally owned or otherwise occupied and used lands, territories, waters, and coastal seas, and other resources, and to uphold their responsibilities to future generations in this regard. That right there gives us back control of all of the land. Here we go, too. Indigenous people have the right to the lands, territories, and resources which they have traditionally owned. Occupied or otherwise used or acquired. That goes for all of the um, minerals resources that they've been mining over here. That they weren't allowed to trade. They was only allowed to borrow against it. Dang, that makes sense, bro. Now, we got a right to seize all of those resources because they just been there. Um, Texas got just as much or more oil than the Middle East. Just yes, as we can talk about Arizona and Mexico. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that right there is giving us the wealth, the mineral resource wealth in compensation and like can. In other words, they got to give it all back. Exactly. This is, them giving, this is them giving it all back. Come on. It's all qualified and quantified right here. Straight up. Let me read number two real quick for you. Indigenous people have the right to own, use, develop, and control the lands, territories, and resources that they possess by reason of traditional ownership or other traditional occupation or use, as well as those which they have otherwise acquired. That's all they right there, OG. Yeah, giving you back your lane. All based on self-determination and self-identification. Yeah. Okay. That means knowing you from the land, and the only way they're going to know is when we exercise our oral tradition of informing in the public domain across the land who the chiefs are, what their jobs are. Yes, sir. And to verify other chiefs come through like you're doing now, yes, to sir. verify they gave the shit back. <laughs> Nigga, stop fighting about who. Stop fighting. The fight is over. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. Um, uh, you want to go through more? You, want, you, feel, you know what I'm saying? See, I, got a little, I, I got a little longer. We go, we go right. a couple more. That's the best. So, look, I'm going I'm to I'm read one more from the... So, the thing that... Let me flip real quick. The thing that the 
that I see that the United States do. So we got, right here we got, they got two of them up, okay? The one you, oh, but this one right here is the United Nations Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous People. And then we got the American Declarations on the Rights of Indigenous People. And that one right here is directly us. Right, right, exactly. So I'm going to go through a, a couple of this one. You got a little bit more time, man. I appreciate you getting me on here and connecting, man. You know, and reaching out and doing what you do, bro. So. Oh, I appreciate you cross-referencing to make sure I know what the fuck I'm talking about before I tell my people this hey, shit I'm telling them. Hey, look. Witness right here. Witness. He is not going to tell you some shit that he ain't went research or been through himself. Why do I know that? I'm not on here pumping. We ain't got time to be gassing motherfuckers up. The truth is the truth, bro. Period. And when he dropped the science and the receipts, I go and verify them. Everything that I pulled up to verify on Rod Hayes has been verified, bro. You feel me? And that's coming from, I, I'm, I'm a righteous judge, bro. I'm a righteous counsel, bro. I'm only here for righteousness. Like you say, if a nigga got to get his shit ripped from appetite to asshole, get him up out of here. You feel me? We ain't got time for that shit at Big Mama House. So I ain't coming here to pick favorites, you know, but they don't they self out. They don't hang themselves. You know? But um, let's go through this one real quick, man. This this one actually got a preamble. It includes all the American states, including the uh, United States and Canada. Here, but this one of the main things, all right? Article 1, Indigenous People's Scope of Application. The American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People applies to the Indigenous People of the Americas. 2. Self-identification as Indigenous People will be a fundamental criterion for determining to whom this declaration applies. States shall respect the rights of such self-identification as Indigenous, whether individually or collectively, in keeping with the practices and institutions of each Indigenous People. So tap in on that. That's self-identification. It's a fundamental criteria. You feel me? Right. And they go cross-reference what you're saying. They know the difference in find all the Indians and us. Straight up, bro. It's on us to assert who we are. We are organic to the motherfucking land. Yeah. Having first right to the earth rights. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. I done went and got all the earth right keys and been giving them back to the sisters. Ain't none of the chiefs doing it. Straight up. Straight up. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Why? Because that's my job. That ain't none of the other chief's job. Right. Can't be mad at them for, for doing the part that they're supposed to do. Yes, sir. As long as they're doing their part. Yes, sir. So we just got to be, be no, recognize them when they come in the midst of us with the bullshit. Because that's how you know who they are. They throw full-fledged chances when you're trying to make a righteous move. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? They want to fight. They want to kill a motherfucker and all kind of shit. And you ain't saying nothing wrong. All you telling the motherfucker is this is how we get our shit. Period. And it's right. like... Go ahead, go ahead, OG, go ahead. So, so from here, the only thing we have to do is prove that America failed. I already proved that we sunk Pelosi's motherfucking battleship. Oh, cool. I told you who did it, by what jurisdiction, and by what method of operation we used in order for him to do it. Yes, sir. Because we had to establish a law of the land in, uh, over the admiralty jurisdiction of the de facto corporation. Mm. Right? So I showed that. Now, the next thing we had to do is look at continuity of government. Because when you understand right. continuity of government, you will understand why you ain't seeing a whole lot of activity going on around your borders. Because we in the transitional phase of government. Man, that shit is, that shit, yeah, go ahead, bro. That shit makes, that's the truth. That's the truth. So, uh, they in the process of giving the chiefs back the shit. We just trying to wake up the people with the grassroots, those old Mississippi and them country boys. Dude, we trying to wake up big mama daughters. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? The old yang, the gimme guy, the old shoe. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is a wrap. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, this is a public declaration, as you said, man. Especially when you spoke about, uh, you know, we used to go into the town hall and read off who was born and who did what, man. That's real shit, bro. It, it all yeah. so. That's how we used to do it. Yeah. Yeah, some of us vaguely remember it. When you mentioned it, they was like, yeah, I kind of like remember that shit. <laughs> like it's down there, a, a, a blurry movie playing, and the nigga said, let me, uh, let me show you this real quick. Cause I, I like to, let me verify, let me verify some of the shit you talk about in person, man, right here on the phone, so so we can understand who with us and who against us for real. So I always, bro, told us to always keep us a Black Laws Dictionary. So when you look at the facto, he speaks about the facto in day short. The facto is. Existing and having effect, even though normally, not normally or legally recognized. Illegitimate, but in effect. De facto government is illegitimate, but in effect. And that's who the fuck this 10 by 10 corporation is that said that our landmass crashed their motherfucking shit. You feel me? Yep. Come on, bro. Now, last one is day short. Oh, OG, and then you're good to go, man. Me too. Now, I appreciate this, man, because all we got to do, I'm going to leave one. Let me say this real quick. Day short. 
existing by right or according to law. Birthright to the earth right, first right. You feel me? That's that's yeah. what we've been saying this whole time, putting this shit together, man. You feel me? I just want to say this, man. We gotta reclaim our shit. We gotta tribe up. We gotta get the imposters off. Everybody do their job. If you gotta rebound, if you gotta shoot, if you gotta set a pick. You feel me? But the main thing is the self identification of this shit, man. You feel me? And the weed out the imposter, man. That's it. Look, I gotta say, oh, I dived out of bounds and saved the ball in order to keep the play alive. You know what I'm saying? The ride, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'm with the shit, dog, for real. Right. So, so now, our oral tradition is that we demand that the Chiefs come forth and get a report. They yeah. call it a state. They call it the State of the Union Address. Yeah. And we used to call it the um, the, the report of the land. It's a report that the Chiefs got to give. Yeah. Larry is the spokesperson for the Chiefs on the lane. Yeah. So when we say free Larry Hoover, because he got to come and say, why the fuck aside the court can't come home? Right up. Right? He got to, that's part of the report. Yeah. Right? Who got all of our leaders locked up in the prison? Who is these motherfuckers? He going to say they was 32 degree Scottish Rite Freemasons from yeah. Europe that came over to usurp. Mm -hmm. Jacob. 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 Right? Yeah. They came over. As black Jews, they blended in with us and made deals with the enemy. Mm. They created the fictitious front of pale faces to block the institutions. Rob Shields, Blood Shields. Blood Shields. They ain't be tying that shit together, cuz. So while they hiding in, in, in our communities, pretending to be activists, pretending to be civil rights leaders, right? All the time, they're yeah. trying to make us believe. Then we came on ships, and we don't have no birthright to the land, so they can say, well, it's abandoned like they did in the New Orleans Purchase. Right. <clears throat> so if you don't know what they did in the New Orleans Purchase, you don't know what they're trying to do now. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do the same shit, repeat over and over, and if you can't see it, you're going to never get your way out. Yes, yeah, sir. That's how you flip out the loop. So I appreciate you going back and doing your due diligence because it showed the people that he... That you don't gotta believe me. If you go check it out, you gonna have to know it for yourself, then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And each one, teach one. We can reach something. Like I hold on to it if it's if it's solid, bro. You feel me? If it's legit, like you say, raise the matriarch. We always been a matriarch. The pharaohs were, were women, but the kings were crowned by women. You know what yep. I'm saying? So, and, and, and speaking on one last name, man, free Larry Hoover, because I understand that he's a political prisoner. And when you say free Larry Hoover, you say a free all the political prison. So it's not just. Oh, gang leader, none of that shit. All that shit is cat. We understand that Crips was what uh, a, a protective thing at first. So go and tell Pro Play and that, man. And I and now it really makes sense with the three kings and, and who Larry over here. They know who he is. That's why they got him in that motherfucker like that. You feel me? Yeah. Man, these people did way more, way personally worse than Larry Hoover that's walking the street right now. They got slapped on the wrist. Straight up. They wasn't a threat to the system. Exactly. Can I say this on, off that live as far as being a threat to the system? The only man that neutralized an entire inner city and, and was able to blockade the whole boat, nigga, well, you either gonna represent us or you not. It's gonna be in Chicago, it was gonna be six hundred thousand black folks for whoever he said it was gonna be for, bro. You feel me? That's power. Only five, three, three, four. That's power. Yeah, and it wasn't just GDs, it was by sword. Yes, sir. It was stone. Yeah, yeah. Four quarter hustlers. And they, they try to make it like they was beefing though, you feel me? They always do that. Yeah, don't tell pro shit. We could take we could take the ninety one riots in, L in Los Angeles after Rodney King verdict to show you what what they was doing because they got caught. Yeah, yeah. That's enough, like Crip shooting up the blood. Straight the fuck up, straight up. Yeah. One case they had a set they rolled through the bloods and the Crips is having you know one of them West Coast backyard parties. Yes, sir. And the niggas is rolling through screaming the set out of the out of, niggas that's back there with the Crips. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Come on, they told the crib, they said, don't even worry about it. They lit the, the, the bloods who said they was calling out, lit that motherfucker up, and they coming to find out they were police. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, no, okay. so I'll be getting the report from the land, what's going on. I'll be paying attention to shit that go up over the regular people here, because yeah. my job is monkey flip, monkey in the middle, catch that key when it come over your head. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? So then I got to be able to talk to all of the people across the land, across all of the tribes. Yeah. Because we all had a common enemy. A common threat. We use different means in order to overcome the threat. Yeah. I just so happen to be able to point out the different means that we use. This is why Prince Hall had to go into the York Right and put the public put the secrets in the public domain. Yes, sir. This is why um Nobu Ali had to go into the Moorish Zionist Temple of Islam and put the 
secrets in the public domain. They knew who they, they knew who we were. They never wanted us to be aware of who we were. Yes, sir. Right. So it's all based on morals and dogma by Albert Pike. Hey, real quick, because that book, it, it's everything in there. And you reference that book, and I know there's a lot of people that try to dispel what you say. They never really tapped into morals and dogma that's telling the whole story. Yeah. So when you put the morals and dogma alongside the uh, protocols of Zion. Then you just go through a series of Q&A. Is, they, is this being done to us today? Yeah. Don't fuck your brain. Straight up. Straight up. Everything they say in those books, has they've been doing it. Relevance. Because Relevance whatever, the in the free will universe, whatever they do to you, they got to keep your right to discovery. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And some of us are less comfortable with the conditions we under than others. So we're going to look twice as hard for the exit. Yeah. I'm the most uncomfortable motherfucker out of all of us. Come on. I'm not, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, social media, I hate that shit with a passion, but right. you know what? I can, I can reach my people. No, but that shit, that shit gives me a, a push and, and inspiration because I don't fuck with none of this shit. You feel me? Cameras, social media, you come on, man. I don't be into this shit, bro. But I know that I see, I see the, I, I can read the time. You feel me? And it's about that time because, you know, the shit oversaturated, but I was able to find you in the midst of the saturation. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. can continue to they can have a continuity of the, the, the growth and the souls unraveling and get to where the fuck we need to be at, man, for real. So we rocking with you, man. I'm from all right, so before I get up out of here, man, shout out to the whole land. My ancestors come from uh Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and Georgia. Um and I was fourth generation Detroit. My great grandmother uh moved to who come on man, she used to always tell us that we had Cherokee Indians. That my that her dad was a was a Cherokee chief. And they moved up to Detroit. Uh, or Illinois first in the 20s or the 30s. And then she moved to Detroit and that's how we got to Detroit. You feel me? So I was four generations born and raised in Detroit. But we all we all got it from the South and we all been told that we got Indian in our family. Our grandmothers ain't no liars bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Straight up. So, yeah, man, it's love, man. We up time, man. I ain't trying to hold you too much longer. I appreciate this shit, man. And I look forward to getting on and building more. You feel me? Keep dropping that shit because the real chiefs around the land, OG chiefs, we getting this motherfucker and we cracking. You feel me? For sure. All we gotta do is let them know. This right here is very. This video is very important. So anybody watching it that can post it on uh, YouTube, it would be greatly appreciated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Gorilla knocking on these niggas. We gorilla knocking on your whole ass. <laughs> Come to All right, I got yeah. to my daughter, man. Much love, peace, peace. God, appreciate you, big chief. I'm holler. For sure. For sure. Peace All out. Right, yep. That shit was awesome. <clears throat> so, um. At the end of this, I'm a, I think I'm going to try to have Dr. G put a panel together with me, Dane Calloway, the young elder, and um, just to have, like, show the people again and go over what we could just went over, where all of the information is at, for y'all to find out that we're free. I don't know um, when or if it will happen, but it just sounds like a good idea to me. But anybody that personally know young elder need to inbox me if you personally have his contact where you can get in direct contact with me. And if you can get in direct contact with Dane Calloway, inbox me. Um, not indirect, not an email. If you if you know him well enough where you can pick the phone up and call him and they know it's you and they answer, that's what I'm talking about. Because we need a third party in order to make these connections because they're not letting us make them direct. So they didn't froze all my emails. I had like 10 of them. So they no sense in making another one. Um, with that, review this video. I'm telling y'all this shit is over. They gave us everything back. And all we got to do is let the people on the land know this shit is a wrap. That's it. It's over. So um, I hope y'all learned something today. I hope y'all feel uplifted at being informed of what's taking place on the land in real time. Um, from the ones who just read the land. We're just reading the lay of the land. This is the system and how it's laid out, and this is what's, where we're at with it now in continuity of government and the transfer of power from the fictitious corporation to the chiefs of the land. We have to call for Larry Hoover in order to restore the matriarchy because they have to make sure that the land is secure in order for us to bring the grand matriarch to the public. This is what has to be done. So, um, that's why we say free Larry Hoover. This shit got to, have to happen. And it's nothing personal. It's just family business. So with that, peace out, y'all. Um, I'll be back on uh, soon. I don't know exactly when, but be on the lookout. 
Yeehaw! Oh yeah.